Whole time. This video was definitely sponsored by Current. Whole time on July 4th, I'm blessing 10 people with $100 each just for following me on Snapchat. So make sure you uh -huh, hit that follow button and make sure to stay tuned with my snaps. Blessings. And on Saturday, June 8th, make sure y'all pop out for the Brilliance and Excellence Marching Opportunity Fair. It's going to be a gathering of at least a thousand boys and young men of color stepping up for a purpose. Log on to www.brilliancenexcellence.org for more information. Support on God So Pete. I remember this one morning. I'm at OG Crib. Knocked out type coma activity. She come in from working third shift at the post office. Instantly blue. All she could do was just stand there and look at me. Slumped in my slumber. Roaming around the realm of rim. She Bartholomew startled out of my sleep and discombobulated sitting up i hey my she i go to work all night i ask you to do a few simple things put the food up do the dishes and don't go to bed without turning off these lights you couldn't even do that sh rubbing my eyes out my bad mama i fell asleep she where the hell is my money at on the rent for this month stretching with a deep sigh eye I'm going to get it to you as soon as possible, mama. I ain't got it. She looked to me like you had it. Yup, your hair done. Face all lined up. I, nah, my homie be cutting my hair for free and I had this little woo-wop to do my hair. She, what the hell is a little woo-wop? I, a girl, mama. She, this little woo-wop of yours ain't got no housing services too? Petty as hell. I, nah, mama. She just do hair. She don't even got her own crib. She do have her OG crib. She, so you just got a circle full of homeless homies. Get your ass up and wash them dishes and throw that food out. I, yes, ma'am. I get up off the couch to proceed to the kitchen. She smacked me in the back of my head. Of course, she, Bartholomew, when is you going to get your own place? I, I don't know, mama. I'm trying to run it up and figure out something. She figured it's out a new idea. You been figuring it out for six months now. I, I'm trying to. I ain't got nowhere else to go. She, if you would have been doing what you were supposed to have been doing with your last apartment, you wouldn't have got evicted. You got to grow up one day, Bartholomew. I hate it having these type of talks for real. She, you done lost like two, three apartments. Every time I look up, you right back here. I'm not going to be here forever. What you going to do when I'm dead and gone? Uh, if you got your own crib in heaven, I'm going to stay there too. She, Bartholomew, hurry up and get that done before I slap it out of you. Uh, I was just playing before dumping the idle spaghetti from the night before in the garbage can. SMH and OG walked to her room. I know she is about sick of me, but she wasn't going to put me out though. In the midst of attempting to earn my keep, I get a FaceTime call. It's from Big Twine. I answer, I, what's good, bro? He cool and what motherfuckers on? I, Nathaniel, what's the word? He pull up on me. Let's see what's to some sh. I, alright, I'm finna see if OG let me grab the whip. He, I'm on point. Just hit me and let me know. I, I bet. After hanging up, I holler to OG. Mama, stepping out of her room. She, what? I, you got something you gotta do today? She, that's my business and not yours. Why? I, cause I was wondering if I could, um, Use your car to bust a couple moves. She, what you need to do is bust them damn dishes. Ah, I, I am. But can I use your car? She, whatever Bartholomew. But make sure you have your back here at eight o'clock. I'm going to meet up with a friend. Confused, I. What friend? She, that ain't something you need to concern yourself with. Ah, I'm just saying though. The only friend you really rock with is Cheryl when she out of town. So I, I was just concerned. She get this kitchen clean, throw that food out, and make sure you have my car back here at 8 o'clock. Before rolling her eyes and walking back into her room, I, yes ma'am. Before returning to the domestic labor I was assigned to, immediately after I get dressed, pop out and pull up on Big Twine. Following a typical 20 minute wait, he pop out, dab me up, he was good bro. 
we peel off to see what the day had to offer. Big Twine, what? Yo, OG let you get the car today? She must be feeling good. Ah, she's supposed to be popping out tonight, so I gotta bring her car back later, but shit, we good for right now. Heat shit, if you trying to get out of crib, I got this little shorty that do apartment proof. She can get you right in there. Ah, yeah? I don't know, I'm good for real, bro. This probably like what? My second or third time having to come back to OG crib? But I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm... I'm comfortable for real. And then plus she, she live by herself. She need me to anyway for real. I'ma just be posted for right now. I ain't got no worries. I ain't got to worry about rent. I ain't got to, you feel me? Like, motherfuckers decent. He true, true. It's decent as hell outside today though. Toes out, holes out on my soul. Ah, right, man, look, that's why we finna post downtown with the Rover Range and go fishing <laughs> he freaky fisherman i to yeah motherfuckers just trying to find they nemo me and big twine found a stationary location to scope the scene a lovely little lemon meringue type situation pop up the street i hey hey check it out check it out check it out check it out she turned to me i yo fiance got you out here on feet i hate that reality for you little baby you should let me love you let me be the one to give you everything you want and need she what i ain't got no fiance i what ain't nobody tell your boyfriend if he like it then he better put a ring on it she i don't got no boyfriend either and i'm not looking for one ah they say you should look for love you should let it find you now i'ma say marco and you say polo <laughs> scrunching her face she boy i'm cool on you right after that wheelchair bound buddy roll up with his home he hey damn baby you know the side while my street don't get hit she oh i'm sorry let me get out your way and step to the side he nah baby the only thing in my way is not having your contact information can i get to know you drawn she get the gushing and blushing ah what hell no preference i guess wheelchair you mean hell no hell yeah human tiki head looking ass boy it look like your teeth trying to escape out your sh boogeyman looking at boy. Your ass look like a Digimon antagonist. Ugly ass boy. Your little ass collect cat tears. Ugly ass. Your little ass make doves cry. Keith Lee mixed with Chief Keith looking ass. Boy, is you cool? Big Twine and Shorty dying laughing. Hit my ass with a honey boss. Wheelchair. You hungry, baby? Come on, let's get something to eat. Hop on. Then Shorty took a whole seat on Buddy lap. His homie. Turned him around, pushed him in the opposite direction before hollering to us. Y'all better not be out here selling squares. Wild as hell, Big Twine. Buddy just hit the Ricky Bobby on your stupid ass. LOL. I ain't no fucking way, boy. Ain't no fucking way, boy. I turn around. See these dudes, one of them. Damn, that's a hot big bro. You trying to sell that? Ah, hell no. Nah. Up and roll. He, damn, I can't buy that mother. Ah, nah, I'm Gucci. Buddy get the tap in his home he I ain't gonna lie, big bro. Let's take that month. Big Twine, boy, y'all ain't on shit. Yo, homie got on bifocals and a baklava. I beat y'all at. Buddy, uh-uh, temper, temper. Mr. Dre, Mr. N.W.A. Before up and pole. I just shook my head, shit. He had it. Buddy, what Drake say? If I got it, then tell me I got it then. Up in phone, he. Let me get a picture of this plate. Snap the license plate. Pimping off, he. Motherfuckers gonna get up with you. SMH and I, hey, we gone, bro. We bell in. Bell out. We in traffic. We catch two luck. Getting that. She got a light skin friend. Look like Michael Jackson. Got a dark skin friend. Look like Michael Jackson. Holding two. Pull over that. Too fat. We pop right out. Tripping over each other. Big twine. Yo, I excursion. Excursion. Turning around. Hey, what's up? Big Twine, hey girls, how you doing? My name is Big, last name Twine. Light skin, um, nah, we good. We already got some guys that we talking to. Ah, what? They not like eyes. They not like eyes. They not like eyes. Big Twine, wah, 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 fuck time about. They get to laugh and the other one. Y'all funny as, but we good. Me and Big Twine both knew it was time to unleash the secret weapon. Ah. You hungry? <laughs> Ha 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 ha
stopped them dead in their tracks. You hear me? They turn around, nodding in confirmation. Y'all yeah, know exactly what the book going on. We slide to Wilma's famous barbecue and tavern downtown. Now, while we inside looking for adequate seating, I see something that catch my eye. A painting on the wall that had an uncanny resemblance to myself. Now, light skin shorty, her name was Stye. She peeped me looking up at the wall. She looked, she point. This supposed to be you? Shaking my head, I can't be. Big twine, boy, that is you. Them lips peak as hell, boy, ugly ass. The other girl name was Sandy. She, nah, that's that boy that be doing them videos. What's his name? Um, Corporate? You do look like him. I, I'm so tired of saying that. SMH and as we walked off, we found a table for us to dine at. Me and Big Twine both pulled out the ladies' seats for good measure. Needed this story to have a happy ending, you hear me? Sat them down and took our seats across from our preferences. Stop, oh, we kicking it with some gentlemen's. I, gentle when it's time to, not so much other times. Sandy type, sh type shit. So where y'all from? Big Twine, I'm from the Ville, baby. Where you from? Sandy, I'm from out west. You know, over there by Crane. The waitress walk up, how y'all doing today? Holding a tray of ice waters. She sit them down in front of us. Swift accommodation. The waitress, welcome to Wilma's, guys. Let me know when you're ready to order, okay? I bet she, all right. Ah, and you look like something from out of my dreams, but where you grew up at? Stop, I'm from the G, 219. Where you from? Ah, SpongeBob, Pet Snail, Gary. I true, true. I'm from over east though. So what y'all was on? Y'all was just out enjoying the day or whatever? Stop, got to. You know it's hot one day, frigid the next. Gotta take advantage. Sandy, okay y'all, so how do y'all feel about that teacher that let them students take his head down? I feel like it was very inappropriate, but I, I don't feel like he should have lost his job for it. Probably should have got written up or something. I don't feel like he should have lost his job. Stop, I mean, no, it, it wasn't appropriate at all, but I don't think you should have got fired for real, you know? The waitress. All right, guys, what can I get for you today? Can I offer you guys some appetizers? We have soul rolls. We also have fried pickles and mozzarella sticks. Sandy, I did see that on the menu. I want to try the soul rolls. Ah, right, well, nah, I'm definitely ready for my entree. Let me see what's to them chicken and waffles. The waitress. All right, so we have the soul rolls and we have the chicken and waffles. Can I get you guys anything else? Big Twan, let me get a regular rib tip the waitress okay got you and you young lady stop i'll try the chicken and waffles sandy matter of fact i want to order my entree too let me get the catfish dinner with um greens and candy amps. the waitress all right would you guys like any beverages we do have flavor lemonade and signature drinks from the bar sandy can i get the strawberry lemon drop martini stop just keep me filled up with water and lemons Ah, and I just take a strawberry lemonade, Big Twan. She, me, me too. The waitress. All right, that looks like you guys got everything. I'll be back with the drinks in about five minutes. Back to the combo, Big Twan. I don't think he had no ill will. Like, he don't seem like a freaky Jason. But when you got everybody opinions pouring in, it could kind of blow things out of proportion. Ah, you know, like, it's kind of hard to really say because on one hand, if I would have saw footage of my daughter taking a man head down, I'd have been like, bugging up you feel me but then it's like when i went and did my due diligence and researched the teacher he over passionate about the school the kids the learning like you know what i'm saying i would have been like okay it seemed like he did too much but it wasn't no like ill or weird energy with that i don't feel like he should have lost his job like you know what i'm saying maybe a write-up if anything but you know what i'm saying at the end of the day i would have been like all right i get it Let's not let that happen again, though. No, you feel me? But once social media got a hold of it, it just got the world and out of control. And then it just got the you feel me. I don't know what y'all think. Was Buddy wilding out or it was harmless? Drop it in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Walking up with the drinks, the waitress. All right, I got this strawberry lemonade for you. Set it down in front of me, complete with a straw, because I hate when they expect you to sip off a public glass. Topped it off with a lemon, that of which I have a guilty pleasure of biting into the bitterness. It provides some type of satisfaction. Right after some type of mechanical AI shelf pull up to the table. Big Twine, damn, they got Rosie the robot in this motherfucker bringing the food. Sandy, okay, the Jetsons type for real. 
The waitress walk up, grab the food. All right, I have the chicken and waffles. Set it down in front of me. Proper presentation, if I do say so myself. She went and grabbed Big Twine rib tips, placed them in front of him. No pork on my fork, but to each his own. The waitress then set Sandy's hot portions in front of her. Soul rolls, sweet potatoes, greens, that of which complemented her catfish dinner. And then Stas, chicken and waffles were placed in front of her body. Right after the robot pimped off getting that do 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 The waitress, hope you guys enjoy your food. And we ain't waste no time in doing just that. Conversation was fluid before the food came. After that, silence of the lambs. I say like a good 20 minutes later, depleted I Sheesh. Star, that was so good. Ah, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Now that you contending on, you can reevaluate a lamb of to see what's to y'all. Sandy, I don't know. Maybe. The waitress. All right, it looked like y'all enjoyed the food here. So y'all total is gonna be $327.94. Sandy, you said $320. $320 what? Instantly get the getting that. Do you want me? Do you wanna want me like that? Trying to create a distraction. Style just put her face down and her drink, big twine. Say less. Make sure you take you a little 40 ball for the tip. Acting unusual, I. Right. You sure, bro? Sandy, ooh, he got money. Locked her right in. He, man, you know my turned up, not burnt up. You feel me? Sandy, okay. I might just have to give you a chance. Whispering a twine, I. Damn, your piece is hitting, huh? He, boy, nah, that's my real account, boy. Pay the advance. Up to 500 with current, I duly noted. I'ma see what's to it. Soon as I get a job, the waitress, here you go, sir. Thank you guys so much. It was my pleasure having y'all at Wilma's Famous Barbecue. Have a great night. Big twine shit, we gone. And we all bopped out. Took the ladies to this little virtual golf course type situation. Big twine step up first. You would have thought he was Tiger Woods. Whole time, cat backyard. I step up. Four! However, it didn't travel very far though. Swing needed a little work. Big Twine, yo dumb uh, Tiger Hood. Time out. Sty stepped up. Hole in one. It don't matter how bad that swing was, that X was up to par. Sandy step up. Big Twine, old score on B face. After that, Ice cream at the Buckingham Fountain. A sight to see at night. Premium summertime shy vibes. It was safe to say, we had got shorty them way more comfortable with us than they was initially. Deal closing time. Ah, I, I hope you enjoyed my company biting into my ice cream sandwich. Stop, more than I expected to. Before giving her frozen confection a certain amount of attention and about had my mouth hanging on the floor. I, I think I enjoy you eating that ice cream more. Smiling sheep, boy, you is stupid. Big Twine, damn, you got put that go up, little baby. Sandy, you think you saw something? You ain't really see nothing for real. I asked Buck Big Twine, well, she, what else is there to saw? Laughing, Sandy, you is funny. Ah, so where you finna go after you leave here? She, I could be free in a couple hours. So what you saying? Ah, oh, you proactive. What time is it? Looking down at her phone, she, dang, it's later than I thought. It's 11.30. My throat fell in my stomach, confused, she, boo, what's wrong? Ah, whole time. You know I'm a good son or whatever, so I told my OG I'd take her to work. I'm late for, you feel me, making sure she gets to her occupation, that's all. Stop, that's fine. Another time. But how I know I'ma see you again? Ah, uh, I'ma just give you my line. She, nah, I need something more than that. Before taking my ponytail hold out of my hair. Now I got something of yours that you gotta come and get back from me. Ah, uh, nah, say less. My line, 312-976-28. Woo, woo. She type it right in her phone. Ah, uh, alright. Bro, we gotta go. Motion in the big twine. He was over there, managed his hell, but we had to get gone. I beamed bro off to the crib, raced home. I step inside. I see my mama wrapped around some unidentified man playing Twister. I'm looking crazy. OG peed me. Sitting back on the couch, she, hey son, 
I. Who is Buddy on that? She. Oh, this my friend, Blackjack. I. Who is Solitaire and why is he here? He. Nah, actually, it's Blackjack. Nice to meet you. I. Whole time I'm talking about OG, yo ass tweaking. She, boy, calm up. Damn. If it wasn't for Blackjack suggesting we had a date night here, I'd be beating your ass right now. I told you I had something to do. He, it's all good. I get it. I know how it be. I don't want no smoke, big dog. I just came to have a good time. I heard a lot of good things about you, though. I, I ain't heard anything you about you, though. Must not be that important for real. How old is you, young man? My mama name ain't Stella and she don't need to get her groove back. Pal. Mama Bartholomew, mind your fucking business. I am grown. Blackjack, I'm gonna get up out of here, beautiful. I had the best time though. I'ma text you when I get home. Before proceeding to remove himself from the apartment as he justly should. I'm just looking at the whole time. Mama snap. She, that is my friend. You had a good time today, didn't you? I'm entitled to the same thing. Crazy as boy. Before walking to her room. Man, I wasn't trying to hear none of that. I almost rearranged the furniture in that living room. You hear me? Next morning, I'm in a slight coma. Oh, gee. Bartholomew shook the f out of me. You would have thought that was the only way my mama knew how to wake me up. She gave me a headache. I sit up, gather my bearings. Yeah, mama. She, I need you to go get me some cigarettes. Ah. So you woke me up for that? She, excuse me? I was sleeping peacefully after a 12 hour shift until you woke me up to give birth to your black ass. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Petty Crocker was cooking this morning. I, I, mama. After I bring your cigarettes, can I use your car? She, whatever Bartholomew. If it wasn't for my man coming to pick me up today, your ass would be burnt. Ah, yo, man. When that happened, she, boy, didn't I tell you I'm grown? Get up and go get my cigarettes. Newport 100s. You bring me back some shorts, that's gonna be your ass. Ah, I, I, mama. She, and I don't appreciate you not bringing my car back here in a timely fashion last night. So turn on your location. Indefinitely. Ah, my location for what? She, nah, I need to know where my vehicle at, cause you be playing. Ah, I, I, mama. First it was strangers in the house, now she trying to clock my low. Doing too much. I put some clothes on to go get mama cigarettes. I step out on the porch. Who I see? Solitaire walking up to the door. And I'm already blue too. I walk down the steps. Bump him. Ah, right, come on G, is you cool? He, come on now little homie, what you on? Ah, right, what you mean what I'm on? Watch where you going. To be aware is to be alive. And pimped off. I don't know what buddy thought this was on Foles Gray. He shouldn't even be around. Now I go bop up to the car. I notice a pair of glasses sitting on the hood. Weird as hell. I just walked over, grabbed him, tossed him. Probably should have kept him and gave him a solid test so he could see where he got me fucked up at. About a week later, I come in early as hell from spending the night with stock trophies. I smell breakfast. I was too geek. I bop in the apartment, expecting to see my OG at the stove, but, but nah. Solitaire butt naked time about you want some breakfast, folks. Booty hole bucket at the stove. He turned around, up has got sausage, no diddy. Bite the glizzy, no sir, I instantly. Mama, hey mama. Rushing out the room, she, what's the problem, son? Ah, you see buddy in here in your kitchen, less than decent and exposed? She, son, I ain't know you was coming home so early. Ah, mama, it don't matter what time I come in here, mama. He in the kitchen, newborn naked, mama. He, like she said, we ain't even know you was gonna be home this early. My bad, folk. Before proceeding to return back to my mama's private quarters, he walked past, she smiling and grinning. This is my mama house, not no brothel. She, I right, son, gone, gone about your business. Went back in her room, oh, I ain't like buddy at all. I'ma tell you how much one night I'm taking out the garbage, the wet garbage. Solitaire was in the alley, working on the car, I spot him. I immediately identified the longitude and latitude required for my devious plan. Perfection. I pimp up to the garbage can, swing the bag, drench game with mellow bucks in him. Saturated that soul. Disposed of the bag, he, man, what the f was that? Ah, what did you time about? 
Man, your ass tweaking. Pimped off on Buddy. Left that man to savor the sauce. About three, four days later, I'm in the crib cooling. He bop out of the bathroom looking thermy. I'm on my phone ignoring his presence. He walk up. What's up, little bro? Looking at him, I number one at checkers. He, what's that mean? I, you a big beautiful. Stop talking to me. Return to my phone. He type shit. Kept walking. I ain't even know why he even tried with me for real. I goofy. Out of nowhere, he come up behind me, choke me. I told you stop playing with me, boy. On folks in them grave on GD. Your mama told me you not even like that. I kill you. I mama. He yeah, call for your OG little nick. The dough knob turn. He immediately unarmed me. Fool neutralized I'm a fucking nervous system in my neck. OG walk in. She, what is going on in here? I mama. He was, he was choking. He, I ain't do nothing to him, baby. He good. I, is you serious, mama? This man just assaulted me. She, son, it's, listen, you say you need to use the car. Here, handed me the keys. Him and her walked to the room. I ain't gonna lie, that fake blew me for real. I felt like she chose him over me. It was really up after that, I ain't gonna lie to you. I just pimped out. The next day, I'm in traffic with Big Twine. After we finish busting moves, I drop you off at your baby mama house. He, hell yeah, we just got back right to her ass was tweaked. I type sh before stopping at a stop sign. Big Twine, man, what the fuck is he doing? It was a dude crossing the street. Slow as hell, though. Bent all over in the street. The man that took his fucking asthma pump out took some puffs. It wasn't like he was struggling or anything. He was just clearly on dummy, doing as he pleased. Right in front of the car, though. It's cars that's going around us, but he's standing in front of our car, straight tweaking. For what, though? Me and Big Twan just looking in disbelief. Big Twan, nah, you ain't gonna give it to me like that. And bop out. I follow right behind, cause Buddy was on one. Ah, right, come on, G, what you on? Get up out the street. He, boy, I'm a pedestrian. Be patient. My pace is my prerogative. Cause you talking about, boy? Big Twan, I'm up gonna take everything you got and beat your, you tweak. Buddy, Rob who? Say what? <coughs> Hello. Fuck you talking about, boy? Don't make me make a can of beans out here, bitch ass nigga. Big Twan, you got it? Ah. Right. Yeah, we gone, and we bought back in the car. Weird, buddy, what Jay-Z say? So poof, bad moves, son of a, what you talking about? And continue to cross the street in the slowest motion possible. If I ain't know no better, I felt like I was into it with everybody with glasses. Then the man get to the sidewalk and decide he want to speed up. Ah. Folks just got a pipe, that's all that is. SMH and Big Twan, you know that. The next day, me and Big Twan run to the grocery store for my OG. Big Twan, shit, where well, my fucking ass with it tonight? Ah, I, I don't know, but it's gotta be worth a month for a while, for real, for real. I'm trying to get into something. Big Twan, actually, I got some, I just jay down on the other day, we can see what's too. Ah, right, hopefully, they not no gorilla cookies, cause you know what you be on. Before turning my head, and what I see? A pack of Twinkies under the hood of a car. I perhaps you ladies could use a bit of a hand and step forward to assist. Walking up, I damn it looked like y'all in a little bit of a situation over here. Y'all good? One um, I don't know, my car won't start. I listen, I can start your battery for you. She, we need jumper cables. I no, you don't. I hand bit two on the bag. I put my hands on the battery. They looking confused, not even knowing I got this little thing that I do. Big Twan, man, what the fuck is you doing? I right, give me the keys. They hand them to me. I go to start up the vehicle. I jump in there to crank the car. <laughs> Shorty say it's not starting. Hopping out the car. I 
Oh no. Speak nothing nutty, big twine. You dumb and hand me the bag and go under the hood. Shorty looking like she turned on by bro efforts. He come up. Now start the car. Now I'm skeptical of whatever he thought he did, but I obliged. I hop in, crank it up. <laughs> ah, damn, it started. That yes, it started. Got the turning up. Big Twan, glad we could help. One um, shit, what y'all on later? Ah, shit, whatever y'all on. One um, you want me to cook for y'all? I see you got groceries. The other sh what you got in them bags, boy? Ah, oh, none too much. Raising the bag. Really just a couple of cucumbers for my mama to make a salad. Shorty cucumbers. How many? Ah, shit, those. The other one, let me see them. Big twine, instantly, snatch bag, take out cucumbers, hand it to them. They instantly proceed to wash them for me in the most creative way I had ever seen. Thoroughly, too. Had me and Big Twine out there looking crazy. They take our number. With the quickness, we both up phones. Shorty, 773-528-69. Woo, woo, all right, all right we got it. Y'all can keep the cucumbers. We, we'll get them back from y'all tonight. They see y'all tonight, boys. Put the hood down and hop back in they car. Oh yeah, me and Big Twan had came up early. When night fell, you better know me and Big Twan was looking like Batman and Robin on the way to fight crime. Focus. Ah, right, let me tell you something. If this lady let me get behind that mob, chuckling. You, you don't even understand. You, you don't understand. Big Twan, boy, my little situation, what young nudie say? Boop, 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 boop. All in that cooch. Shaking my head. Blessings came out the clear blue sky, too. I ain't gonna talk about look at the death. It's finna be a lituation. You don't even know. Big Twan, what time your OG want the car back though? Ah, right, we Gucci whole time. I ain't gotta return the sender to the AM. We have no roadblocks ahead of us. We time about Big Twan on phone them gray. About 30 minutes later, we pull up to low. Big Twine, you told them we outside? Ah, right, hell yeah. They said they finna come outside in a minute. Big Twine, yes sir, e Bob. Ah, right, let's pop outside. Big Twine, boy, hell nah, we don't know who over here. Ah, right, what? This the suburbs, ain't nobody on over here. Yo ass tweaking. Bell out. Big Twine follow right behind. We hop out, post up in front of the range. Ah, right, see, you gotta turn them on first. Once they pop up and see, it's got that, um, that's the first step to getting inside. Gotta teach yo everything. Big Twan, man, you think you so cool, yo, dumb man. The moment after, fuck, fuck, fuck. We was under siege by attackers unknown to us. Retreat, retreat. We had to get up out of there. We bella to the woo wop, pill off. They bop in in hot pursuit. We on e way I. Man, they ass is blowing. Whoever was out the window tossing, Big Twine, bro, who the fuck is that? Swerving, dodging bullets, I, how the fuck am I supposed to know? Big Twine, bro, stomp this muff. Whoever was blowing at us, you would have thought we'd have got into it with him before. Ah, bro, that's Buddy with the baklava and the spectacles. Big Twine, what? Never. It all started to make sense from that moment. Everything that had taken place with glasses was some other sh. Bifocal boy, get the Blowing. Ah, he didn't hit the back tire. Big Twan, damn. We get off e and drive as far as we could. We pull up in this parking lot. They pop out, walk down on us. Sitting ducks as vulnerable as we could be. Bifocal buddy on my dead homie. Go on ahead, let these windows down before we switch cheese this. I let window down high, beating like a muff. He already know y'all bitches ain't got no pipe because if y'all would have had it, y'all bitches would have blew back. We was really about to be unalive by Arthur Timothy Reed. He, y'all know y'all not going home, right? We killing you. His homie stepped forward right after that. Fuh, 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 fuh. 
Buddy and them get the running, but shots was coming from behind us. It was Blackjack Key. You good, boy? Ah, Blackjack? Confused. I'm good. How did you find us? He, don't worry about all that. We got to get up out of here. Ah, right, one of the tires blew out. He, man, leave this fucking here before I spin the block and blow it out. Let's go. I oblige. I secure mama vehicle, let the windows up, and bop out. OG was eagerly waiting for us to get home. We get inside the crib. Mama was in the window. She, what the fuck is my car? Blackjack, it's okay, babe. Sun Sun caught a little flat, but already got the tow truck on its way. It'll be back over here. She a flat. It's probably cause your was speeding in my car. You forgot I got your location? I saw you driving like a bat out of hell in my sh I 100% forget. I, uh, oh yeah, my, my bad mama. I, I did forget to um unshare that location. She, what was you in such a rush for anyway? Headache, I, um, the the club was, was free before 11. So we, uh, me and Twan was trying to get there on time so that we wouldn't have to, um, uh, pay the parlay. She, some in my spirit telling me you a black sly. Babe, what the was going on? He, nah, he ain't lying, babe. He caught the flat right before I pulled up. I took his homie home and brought him right to the crib. She, ah, okay. Well, let me get my stuff on so we can go get my motherfucking car. OG walked to her room. I appreciate that for real. He, it's all good. What you be seeing? Real gay activity? Ah, right, blessings. Whole time. Definitely wanna apologize for all the ill energy I've been exerting. That's my OG, so you know. My just be feeling some type of way. Nine of his head, he now I feel you though. I don't mean your OG no harm. We locked in for real, for real. Ah, right, now I'm already knowing. I could tell she really rock with you. You got my respect. OG, I right, son. I'll be right back. Ah, right. okay, mama. Guess what though? She, if ain't got nothing to do with my motherfucking car right now, I don't really care. Ah, I, I got a little apartment situation I'm working on, so I'ma be moving out soon. She, well, look at that. I done found some care. I'm glad to hear it, son. Ah, thank you, mama. The moment after, OG and solid blackjack left to go get a car. I decided to get off that with buddy. More of the story, mama need a life too. On gun. Get Brooks exclusive. Uh, I'm one of them, not one of those. Ain't no sneakers on my flow. Versace house shoes in the morning, I remember bad pros. I don't know, you ain't no Lincoln. I ain't into dropping lows. She don't put me on her story, I just love a private hoe. I'm one of them, not one of those. I'm one of them, not one of those. Crack the lights on King Crab, we ain't go to Papa those. All these niggas wacky, you ain't gotta drop a foe. Gotta lock the door. Orgies on my V, orgies in my sheets. Money don't mean everything, you know more than me.